All right, man, we're right here. About to do this little unboxing. Got a little package from PetSmart. And it is the Pro 30 power filter. And it's from Top Fin. It's the Pro Series. And I'm gonna break down a little bit more or less why I got this filter. Uh, but it is ideal for 30 gallons. This is a 40 gallon breeder tank, but I do have my canister filter down there. So that does all the heavy duty. The purpose of this filtration was because of the um, active carbon and then as well as the skimmer because it has a surface skimmer and then it has biomedia in it and then it has your you know standard sponge filter this is a skimmer down here the intake has a sponge just basically extra filtration for the aquarium but as all you know if you don't know active carbon crystallizes the water and then as well as the skimmer gets rid of the gunk that's on top of your water that flows on the surface of the tank. So, but uh, here's the tank, man. We took out the artificial corals from the back. Um, and then one of the comments recommended getting more sand for the, you know, to just pretty much fill up in the aquarium more just because with the, the current and the flow from the wave maker and the outtake, it just really honestly moves this sand. So what I did was I grabbed a couple bags here five pound bags ocean direct live sand so this is actually live already so you know what this is going to do right it's going to basically give us some more beneficial bacteria and it is different i believe it's different than the sand that i have in there um but it is from the same company so care of C. so we got just two bags man i didn't go crazy with it i just want to top off it's another 10 pounds i just want to top off the side over here and just some spots that look a little a little light on the sand but really man i just want to do an unboxing video and we're going to set this filter up and we're going to see how this does for the aquarium more filter the better man you know that's all i can say but here's a little diagram photo of how it works you got the ceramic rings filter sponge activated carbon bag then you have your skimmer so we're gonna go ahead and crack this box open, man. We're gonna try to put this thing together and then uh, I'll take you guys on a journey with me. So let's do it. Okay guys, I apologize for the lighting, but it's gonna have to pretty much do uh, just because I have it mounted on my chest, but we're gonna go ahead and crack this box open here. See what comes in here. The little instruction packet. Uh, perfect size filtration for this tank. Oh, so this looks like it's our intake. This looks like it's for the skimmer or no, this might be yeah This is for the skimmer and then the way the water comes out from the outflow and then this is the activated carbon If I ever run out, I'll have extra But yeah, this is what it looks like right here. So little bag here oh. Kind of watched a couple videos already. So I kind of feel like I know what to do somewhat and These are your handles to take the little kit out This comes with your, it's not really much, but it's your biomedia rings uh, here with the sponge on the side. Here's a sponge. And if I'm not mistaken, the rocks go on top here and the carbon goes here. So let me read some instructions and then we'll pick it up right now in a bit. All right, guys, so we take out the little bag here of the um, Biomedia. And if I'm not mistaken, that just sits on top right here. We could probably low-key use some more. Kind of surprised it came with just the bare minimum like that. But it's definitely going to still hold beneficial bacteria. And then from what I saw here is that this is supposed to slide out. Oh, just like that. And then what happens here is the carbon goes in this bag or this little container right here just like so and then you just simply slide it back in and there you go you have your mechanical sponge filter here your biomedia on top and your carbon activated carbon down low and then you just pretty much put this back here or yeah i think it's right here so is it backwards there we go. Then you put your handles down and there you go. So I would definitely recommend getting some more. I actually have some more. Let me see if I have bags for it. 
see if I can doctor this up here for you. Don't I don't know how clear the uh, GoPro footage is, but I just want to get you guys some better camera footage here. So pretty much your mechanical sponge goes on this side, your um, biomedia rocks go up top, and then this slides out and you're able to put your bag of car of uh, activated carbon and then it just sits right back in here close the rings now i will say i do have more activated carbon pallets and i think this could honestly use more biomedia yeah we got your intake here so i'm going to pretty much try to set it up here and then i'll show you guys what the finished process looks like and i'll pick up the camera in a bit okay guys so we have the filtration system right here kicking and I definitely see why they put a little bit of biomedia because it's not like the water comes all the way to the top. It's leveled right there. So it's just the perfect amount actually of biomedia. So obviously here you can control the outtake uh, coming from the top here, but I think that's perfect. And as you can see, the skimmer is right here. And basically, well, you don't want it to go underneath like that, but it's supposed to pick up the scum, like right there. You can see some of it going in there. But uh, it's real foggy right now, guys, because I just added more of the sand. I had to put the clarifier in there, but this side now looks pretty, pretty well evened up here with sand. So by the morning, it should be clear, hopefully. But uh, yeah, they're good, though. Just cloudy water, nothing crazy, just from the sand, live sand. So pick it up in the morning, man, see where it's at. All right, guys, peep it, man. We got a pulsing Xenia on sale for $15, bro. It's a little, it's a little guy, but it'll, it'll grow. And then we got, this is a um, green Duncan. It's all shriveled up, but we're gonna put him in the tank and see when they open up so see you guys at the house so see you guys at home man okay guys so we're back home and we got our two we got our posting xenia and our uh what is this called the duncan a green duncan so we are going to temperature acclimate and of course they're sinking because there's no air inside of them so let these sit for about 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll go ahead and get them in there, place them in the tank. But yeah, man, everything's looking good. The tank is clear again, and uh, temperature's back to normal. Everything's good. Looks like our filter's working good as well. So here's a top view. Look at our coral down there. I love that torch coral, guys. Look at that torch coral. It's so beautiful, man. I'm telling you guys, love that thing, man. Look at the fish. They're like, what, what you guys got for me? What you guys got for me? All right, guys, give me a second. Okay, guys, so we just went ahead and put our two new corals in here. And of course, they're going to be stressed out. That's the pulsing Xenia. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Um, and I'll pick up the camera once it starts to open. This one I'm expecting to take a long time. The Duncan, I was watching some videos online and sometimes they can take up to a week for them to fully open. Um, and it says if they don't open within a week, we, you know, within that week, just give it time, be patient, and eventually it should uh, it should open. So I know the Duncan's like a little bit lower, light, lower tank level. So I feel like this is a good spot for it. Um, I wish, I mean, I really realistically wanted it on a rock, but what I'm saving my rock for is for my acans, my mushrooms. Uh, I, I plan on getting a leather stool, coral, um, you know, maybe some more torch corals to put on top of the rocks up there. But really, man, um, depending on how this does, this Duncan, we're going to leave them down here. But uh, really, I just want to see when this pulsing Xenia opens up just because they don't require much flow. And most of the flow is up top going to this side of the aquarium for the torch coral. So hopefully down here underneath the flow makers, this... Uh, Posting Xenia should be good. So we'll pick up the camera guys tomorrow. That's pretty much it for today. I just really wanted to show you guys the new filter that we got here. Give you guys an unboxing video. Give you guys a part three to the tank. We took out the artificial corals in the back there. We're starting to put live corals in here. So no need for artificial stuff in here. Our three fish are doing amazing. Our crabs are doing good. 
Our snails are good. Um, our starfish is up there. Um, our bubble tip anemone is back here. Hopefully he moves out of there soon. These dudes are hungry. I know, you guys are hungry, I know. But yeah, man, part three, tank's doing awesome. Two new corals, man. Just give you guys an update. Once they open up, let's move on to the next day. We'll see what they look like tomorrow. Thank you.